you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. It's starting to get a little warmer outside but today it's pretty windy and uh, what blew in my door today is this little guy here. It's a little package I've been waiting for. It's the new uh, bronze colored from Lamy fountain pen and uh, it's one of my other pens that I do collect. I know I've been giving Twisby a lot of love lately but today we have this little guy we're going to open up, test him out, see how I like it, see how the color compares to my others in my collection here so he's got a little spot right here he's gonna go into there so let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, as I got the box I saw this little guy underneath now we're not in the dead of winter anymore so it's not really cold out there but uh, I've gotten pens over the winter time when it was like 20 below or something and he never showed up and I don't recall ordering any ink with this guy just the pen itself so I'm going to try to preserve this and maybe add it to my uh, moleskin journal. But let's go ahead, open this guy up, and see exactly what could be able to free up in this guy. Let's go open him up. This is from my friends at Goulet Pen, as usual. They give me the sentimental Tootsie Roll Pop in small, small size. I got my Lamy pen here, bubble wrap, and the invoice itself, so no ink, so I don't know what was going to freeze in there. And of course they give me their thank you that it's been packed with slightly ridiculous amount of care. And I believe here on the card we have a little sample of ink that is available through them. It's like a kind of a denim blue I guess, Kyoto. Hishoku, I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, it's not a bad color, not a bad color, so we'll see about getting the uh, ink for that. But let's go ahead and open up this Lamy All-Star Bronze, see what we have here. It's a nice color, it's a very bronzy color, very nice, not too vibrant, not too orangey. Uh, a lot of times bronze is a, more of an orange color than anything, but uh, I think this is a very nice color. It's got the nice clip that Lamy is known for with their All-Star. It's a anodized aluminum casing on the top and bottom. Right, let me just take that off. It did come with an ink. I may use this ink to uh, get it started and test it out because I didn't have the time to coordinate a uh, bronze colored ink for this guy. I know they have one. I think it's Lamy actually that they came out with one uh, But I didn't get it. So we'll maybe Be inking it up with this guy here. This little uh, it Looks like blue. Yeah, it's blue at the top there. It's a little blue ink cartridge So it's not going to quite go with the coloring of the bronze But uh, I think it's gonna be good for our test. So we'll do that Put the little box away. It's a little ventilated. I like how their box is. It's, it's kind of cool. Kind of, uh, I don't know, modern I guess. It's not just a, a little box. You can kind of see in between there so you can see the color peeking out through the slots and the, and the cardboard. But as usual they have their little reservoir peak hole on the side there so you can see how your ink level is going. On the side there they have their Lamy uh, logo engraved into the barrel of the pen itself and it's got a nice click it's not a twist off it's just a solid click on and off so that's very secure on that and it also posts very secure on the other end too I don't know if it's just more friction I don't see no, there's no kind of grommet or anything that I can see in there there may be something that it does stop it. So there may be some kind of plastic uh, piece in there that helps secure it to the bottom of the pen or the top of the pen as you're posting it and writing with it. Like I've said before with the Lamy, I like their grip. They got the little flat edges on the top where your uh, index and your thumb would lay and uh, sit. And then it will just rest on your middle finger there as you do your writing. If you do the common uh, writing position, I see some people Hold their pen like that. I mean there's been different positions. I tried a few over the uh, years with my writing, especially in high school. I was always uh, testing out different writing positions. But uh, this is the Lamy Medium and it's the All-Star in Bronze. So I'm just going to go ahead and ink this guy up 
and screw it here. As you can see, it's the nice stainless nib that they have on there. Their current design is uh, very adequate as far as uh, security and uh, you know not bending too much or not doing too much uh, damage to the pen. So let's just pop this guy in there. Get him all twisted in there. And put him on. And there he goes. So grab my little test thing here, make sure we get writing. It's gonna take a few times to get it going. All right, so we got it flowing. Took a little while on that one. Uh, usually, probably because when I do the inkwell one with the uh, reservoir uh, converters, it's pulling the ink up through the pen instead of trying to push it down. So we got it flowing, so let's go ahead get our setup with our laser line and everything and do some test writing on this guy. So let's see how it goes. All right, so I got it all inked up. Got my uh, iPhone gonna record the writing itself and uh, my laser light is running. So as you can see, I'm gonna run the line straight across here, although it's on this phone, the angle of the phone that it's recording at is gonna be a little different. And because I'm going against the laser, runs. it's got a nice flow to it. I always like the uh, medium nib on the Lammies. They're very smooth right out of the package. Sometimes you got to alternate or, or do a little adjusting to some of the nibs that uh, you get over the years, but this one seems to do fine just right out of the pen or right out of the package and like I said I'm gonna be trying to improve my writing over the years if I slow it down a little bit it's gonna be a little bit better and this is the all-star it's laying down the ink very nice this is that uh, graphic paper I told you about, so it does have a little bit of bite to it compared to copier paper. That's not too bad though. Uh, you can see as I go sideways though, it is kind of, it's not putting it down real heavy, or real nicely. But on the vertical, and let's see if I'm in a figure eight. Not the best figure eights in the world. Let's do some over here. And it seems to lay down pretty decent. But on this one, going around sideways, it's not laying it down the best. And let's see if I got one of my other guys inked up here. I could tell there was something in there because it was uh, blocking the reservoir window there. But I don't believe not none of these other ones are inked up, so I can't do a comparison to another one as far as why it's not quite laying it down side to side. Usually, it, if I press harder and go a little bit slower, it does a little bit better job at that. But side to side is giving it a little problem as far as laying it down. Usually it doesn't give me that much trouble right out of the bat. But uh, it could be that this needs to get a little bit more flow going through it. Uh, I usually don't do the little ink cartridges they provide. I usually just do a... Let's move this up here. And try to do another line. Let's see, this is the medium nib. On the quickness, as I go slower, it does seem to lay it down fairly good. Medium nibs are fine. Kind of oxymoron there that mediums would be fine since they're not a fine nib. Is that oxymoron? I'm not sure. Something like that. We'll see. But uh, yeah, 
when it's straight across like that it's not laying it down if I go slow and press a little harder it does lay it down but as I pick up the pace it's not laying it down as quickly and it could be that I needed to prep this nib a little bit more but like I said before I usually don't have to do that so it's not laying it down side to side like I want it to I'm going to work with this a little bit better and maybe ink up one of my other guys later on and do a comparison for you guys but like I said this is a nice color that I uh, really like so it could be just uh, obviously it's the nib may not be cooperating or I've been using my Twisby so much that I'm used to the side to side uh, lay down of ink and uh, didn't co really compare how the Twisby and the Lamy compare as far as uh, that kind of laying down the ink so we're gonna probably look at that in the future too but in the meantime hope you enjoyed this little unboxing of the new all-star bronze color of the uh, Lamy fountain pen it's going to be a nice addition to my other collection here as I bring it into the case and we got the little couple colors here unfortunately none of them other ones unfortunately none of the other ones had a cartridge or were ready to be inked and tested so we'll have to look at that in the future too so stick around guys for that little tidbit as far as I look into uh, why that nib doesn't quite do what I want it to do I haven't been disappointed before so uh, all things do have lemons if you want to call it that so we'll see how that goes have a good one guys and I'll catch you next time Music